them. So I I couldn't understand the junk table. Okay. Okay. So see. Okay. Let's take this example. I have a, a table. Uh, uh, you understand the concept of dimension and fact, right? Yeah. So what what I understood is like dimension is a static table and fact table is more like <clears throat> which keeps on changing like the maximum data is would be in the fact table than in ma dimension table right yeah so i'll just give a simple example for you yes you, the understanding is correct but let me uh, keep it in a simple way now let's take a person say me itself or some uh, say you itself so you might be having some fixed characteristics which will not change over the period of time okay mm -hmm. something like your uh, date of birth right the mm -hmm. place of birth right father's name mother's name country of origin and uh, your gender right these are your fixed attributes which will never change over a period of time now what will keep on changing is the city of residence school the class and uh, the qualifications and uh, the other attributes like uh, what is your favorite color so on and so forth so these kind of attributes will fall under facts whereas this is a dimension table okay enough say suppose in in my fact table i have uh, uh, say suppose there is fact table for it learn courses taken okay now under that i have student id the course id uh, paid for project paid for live video live training paid for uh, uh, only videos so this will be yes or no values this will be also yes and no value or i'll take it as 0 slash 1 okay mm -hmm. now if you see these combinations right how many combinations will be there total for these three combinations uh, i have y and n yes and no yes and no and 0 and 1 okay so a student can pay for live video live project and live training and oh, sorry uh, live this is live training only videos and uh, live project Mean which means a student can offer all these three a, a student can offer only live training no videos and no uh, what do you say no live project so which is zero mm -hmm. one is one okay so if you see these like these combinations how will how many combinations will be there simple math you are, go back to your old uh, mathematics nine twelve yes right so somewhere near to nine you will be having okay no no one no no zero so you will have six combinations okay so now if you take these right what am i having i am having three different columns instead what i'll do is i'll take these as a single column so i'll keep it these into a these three into a separate table okay like this so p o p p o l p l t and uh, p f Okay, now what I'll do is, 
instead of this, I'll give a key for it as a unique key. So it's just unique key. So this will become UK1. So I gave this. Now instead of these three columns here, what I'll do is I'll use only UK in this table. IT courses, uh, what do you say? Taken. So now what I got? I got only one column here. Earlier, what was happening? These were all these three columns were the facts in the particular table, the attributes in the fact table. Now what am I doing? I'm keeping all these junk values into one single table and I'm just calling one column here. These are all my facts. But what am I doing? As they can come, they can be combined and kept as a single column, I'm taking it into a different table. So this particular table is called as your junk dimension. All right. So junk table can be a fact table, right? I mean, yes. It's it's almost the same, right? Then but here, these values are unique, right? So you can use this in a different table also. Say, suppose I have a, a, a different table, a delta table for IT courses itself, uh, where I have a QA and development courses separately. So here also, I can have the same values used. Now what are they become? They are becoming a fixed attributes. They are not changing over a period of time. Right? Mm -hmm. These values are not changing, which means they are as similar as dimensions. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the reason we call them as junk dimension. Oh. All right? So why we need a separate table? Because I, I don't want to use more duplicates. I don't want to see every time. Okay, let's take this table itself. Earlier, how would it, it would look like student ID? SID1, SID, course ID, uh, live training, uh, only videos, live project. Now say, suppose let's insert some values, S1, C1, S1, C1, Y, Y, Y. This is how it would have looked earlier, right? This table. Now, because of yeah. these changes, what am I having now? The same table will you got UK and the UK value is UK1. YYL1 is this, right? So only UK1. So what am I doing? What am I have? What is it happening here? The space is being reduced, mm -hmm. right? So that's the advantage. Okay. So, um, like in data warehousing, we cannot have a normalized form, right? But here, this is this is the kind of normalization, right? This is a kind of uh, yes, normalization. Not normalization exactly. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, you can call it as normalization. Yes, okay. Yeah, but normally like in data warehousing, the tables are denormalized, right? Uh, you need not see. Denormalized is for your uh, ease. In the sense, uh, if you want to have, see regularly you are fetching something like, Say suppose this is the table you got and you got sto uh, student details in a separate table and course details in a separate table. Now my report uh, is uh, or my requirement is I want the student name, the course name and the payment details, these three columns. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you uh, see the table, actual table, student name, course name and then the V and LP. This is how the actual table should look like. Mm -hmm. the, the requirement table. Now these this column is coming from a different table. Say suppose T1. This is coming from T2. And this is coming from T3. T3 and T3. 
So how are you getting C, uh, as student name? You are joining P1 with P3 based on mm -hmm. SID column and you are getting source uh, student name. Whereas course mm -hmm. name you are getting by joining P2 and P3 with the course ID column and you are getting the course name from the dimension table. Now every time your report is uh, or you are, your requirements are based on or, uh, or what do you say you are regularly pulling out the report. So all three tables have to be joined and you have to fetch. So these are normalized tables. Now my requirement is this. So regularly if I'm pulling, the option for it is create a view and then look into it. That was happening in the database. Now mm -hmm. when when with the advent of data warehouse, what you're doing? You saw that hey you're regularly looking into this. So what you did, you denormalized and keep made it as a single table. So because of your requirement, you are denormalizing it like this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Not necessary that uh, uh, in denormalized table you you cannot have a normalized table. It's not uh, mandatory. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we can store the data like in the dimension form and also in the I mean normalize and denormalize. Denormalize. Right? Yes. So a data warehouse, uh, uh, whatever data warehouse is, I have seen so far, right? You will have mm -hmm. the database normalized tables and just like the views concept, you will have a denormalized table also. So reports will okay. fetch from denormalized tables, but still mm -hmm. in the data warehouse, you will have these normalized tables as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how uh, flexible is your uh, requirement, end requirement. Oh, okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. So, um, yeah. another question is like partitioning. So, I mean, the partition means like just is, is it in the form of tables? No. Uh, see, okay. In this table, okay. Tell me which one uh, is having more combinations. Which column has combinations? Last three. Okay. And which value will, will uh, which column will have repeated values? Last three, like ID no. and L. No. These are fixed. These are combinations. This will be at uh, what do you say? This will be uh, mm, you mean to say? These are like fixed attributes. These are the combinations. Whereas they are tied up to some uh, a column for which you will be understanding or see, from a reporting perspective what will you look like what will you be thinking of you want a course for which we have all the payments done or for a course for which you got uh, more students on live training so that's your reporting requirement right so that's how we actually think like agreed mm -hmm. not agreed yeah, yeah. right so what's the column that that will let you know what what is that column in this particular table which will help you in finding out the ci okay. course id yeah the course id right so on the course id you will your entire this table is mainly on the course id itself right unless and until you have the course id these values don't have any importance agree mm -hmm. Right, so this yeah. course ID is a repeated column, whereas SID student ID, it can be a repeated column when a student comes back the next year. So this mm -hmm. table is having a flaw still. Uh, by now you might have got the point. So a student can opt for, say suppose ETL live project, live training itself. A student can opt for ETL live training in the year of 2016 and can opt for in, in the year 2017. Mm -hmm. So in my student ID table, student details table, I got student ID and name. Now this particular name can be repeated, right? In this, uh, in the course details table. But here you will have a unique name for him and ID for him. Yeah. So in that case, your student ID column will not fetch will not help you out because you will get the duplicate values mm -hmm. right 
so the more emphasis will be on the uh, course id so here to resolve that you will add another column effective student id or something and you will resolve the question that i post now when you see the data that you are fetching maybe in in it learn or a few uh, small uh, few organizations the count may be in just lakhs but if you take a real uh, i mean bigger organizations you will have a millions of uh, students who will be op uh, opting for the courses now when i have to fetch the data what will happen i have to search say suppose there is a course c1 itself i want to search for it so if i got 1 million records okay total in the table and i have to search for one combination one code c1 so how many times i would have to search effectively see mainly 1 million record times right mm -hmm. now instead of that what am i doing is i am creating an index on this particular table so on on this column i'll create an index under that index i will say that for courses c1 partition p1 will be created for course c2 partition 2 will be created and so on so forth mm -hmm. now what will happen is whenever i come uh, someone asks for uh, what is the count of c1 what will the system do is it will see whether the partition is created on this particular column now it search for the partition definition now it will go and see that hey in c1 uh, the score c1 is under partition p1 now what it will do is it will search only under those partitions a uh, 1 million records it say suppose 0.25 million records are for uh, the partition 1 0.5 million records are for partition 2 and 0.25 are for uh, partition 3 now i know that C1 comes in the partition one. Now, how many combinations will be there? How many? How many times I will have to search for uh, C1? 0.25. So it is reduced, right, from 1 million to 0.25. Mm -hmm. So your speed increases. The the retrieval, the the record retrieval speed increases, and that helps, oh. right? Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. where we will be using partition. and this is more done on fact table itself mm -hmm. rarely we will see on dimensions yeah where there is more data so there could be more sense yes mm -hmm. now from etl testing perspective right uh, i emphasize people more on these partition definition the reason being right uh, unless and until you know the business you cannot do the data validation effectively the reason being right any database will have millions of records and you you have to verify the source to target uh, what do you say copy all the million records you might not be able to test because that's huge and you will have to go for risk based testing mm -hmm. right so risk based yeah. testing is you will have to uh, take a subset maybe based on an year or some some other column and get it done now how do you understand that i mean someone who is a starter or who who doesn't know anything about the domain or what is the purpose of this data he or she might not be able to understand uh, how to how to go ahead with the risk based testing what should be the approach under risk based testing so i uh, my simple solution for everyone who do, who does this go and find out what are the list of partitions that are there in the table okay there's a simple query for it select star from all underscore tab underscore partitions run this query on the database see what are all the partitions are there on the table and read what is the definition of that partition it it will, it will tell you what is the purpose of that table so here in this table the purpose the partition definition is for course c1 the partition is p1 so what did i understand so this table is for course specific details and uh, my i'll do my analysis there itself right mm -hmm. so now in under risk based testing what i'll do i will see that i got these courses so i'll do my boundary value analysis okay what i'll do 
I will see this partition as 0.25 and this partition as 0.5. So I'll take either this partition or verify the data in this partition. There can be another partition C4 or 4 C4, P4. I got only point million. And I got uh, other courses C5, partition P5. There is no data, zero. Okay. Now tell me what will I ideally do? If I have to do risk-based testing, what, which particular partition data I'll be testing, or you suggest? First, go with the point one million, like from yes. the lowest. First, I will see P five mm -hmm. because it doesn't P4. have any data. Then P four, then either of P4. these, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? So that way, I'm making sure the count is less. My testing is perfect, and mm -hmm. uh, my risk-based testing is or uh, near perfect of testing. Mm -hmm. So, did this help the entire testing process? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's where I I generally emphasize everyone first go and see the list of partitions for each table that will help you in understanding the business and thereby your testing. And the partition could be by year also, by month also, right? Yeah, yeah, it can be. That definition can be anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, others, any other questions? Before we start from tomorrow, please clarify all the questions so that we will start because it's already late and others are waiting for the project to, uh, to start also, okay? Your side, okay. Is junk dimension similar to reference tables used in data profiling? Uh, can you elaborate, Emily? Um, I'm just a little confused here. Uh, if you would want to speak, I'll unmute you. Can I? Yes, Emily. I unmuted you. You have to unmute. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So uh, in data profiling, we identify patterns, right? Like uh, we do, uh, we do identify permutations and combinations, and they have a, a lookup table in uh, kind in IDQ kind of thing, uh, in data quality. So wherein they have some reference tables. So uh, because uh, that is kind of thing, uh, uh, what you told was like they do permutations and combinations, and they load the uh, reference tables using what kind of combinations they can have. So yeah. I was just wondering if it is similar to uh, those reference tables that are used in uh, data profiling for identifying patterns. Yes. So yes. So a junk dimension can also be used, but but. The mm -hmm. actual data profiling will be done on the dimension combination, dimension table itself. Junk dimension can also be used, but okay. that's not the basis. So the dimension will be the base. So if you take a, a table, right, student will be in a different uh, from the multiple cities. Okay. Now for me, my data profiling, if I have to do, I'll be doing on the base of city. So my data is coming. The profiling logic is coming from a dimension table of a student's dimension table, right? So it can mm -hmm. be based. It will be actually based on the business. So in my business, why, 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 why is also. I mean, this particular uh, junk dimension is also my business because I'll be seeing how many live trainers, have, how many live training people have joined, something like that, right? So this can also become your profiling logic. Okay. 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 Any other questions? No. Yeah. Thank you.
all right others so we have actually the session was planned for starting from thursday but uh, from today today sorry from tomorrow we will have another class so that would be the paid session today is the last uh, free session so from tomorrow uh, we first thing first is we will send the login details to all the paid members today is the final uh, sheet we will be referring to and that sheet will let us know how many are the paid members and we will have to start because it's already late and people are waiting for it okay so any questions uh, after seeing the live training uh, just post us we will answer them immediately so that we can start the live project now once we get the final list by end of trade today that is india time uh, we will create the login credentials for all the paid members and we will send the separate email to all with the user id and password so and the timings so the advantage here is uh, earlier we didn't plan for uh, un unpaid members the other pay, uh, what do you say the people who didn't opt for six months we were not giving the access to the remote server we were just asking them to uh, run the uh, what do you say connect from their client on their local machines so what we are doing is uh, we will be giving the access to all but based on some timings so in a day one hour each for for other paid members but for the those who opted for six months you will get the access unlimited access you can anytime log in and verify for others we will give you we will provide you one hour of access for practicing so those timings we will be mentioning in the mail okay the reason being uh, for those who opted for six months we will have to give them unlimited access and our server is not uh, uh, capable enough of giving more than five users at a single point of time and we got only four members who opted for six six months of this thing so we'll give the four the others the one other slot which we got we'll be providing these one more of practicing effort okay and then this server has oracle db as a server and oracle db as a target as well to store sorry and uh, this has notepad plus which will be used as source flat file the the what to say the database which we said is we'll be using any of the uh, retail domain and that would be flipkart so the tables are created for this for source and target and the mappings are also so we got informatica power center client so these got mappings and the host and the connection details Or, or or will also be emailed to all so a detailed email will be sent by end of the day today or tomorrow morning so that people can access start accessing it all right the only uh, concern or uh, the only request for all of you is please restrain for practicing only there is no internet on the machine all right i know we are all grown up but still I just wanted to make sure people are all we are all on the same page all right so this is the plan any concerns anything that you want to add any questions yes ashwini uh hi mahesh uh, actually i have paid dollar 250 uh, for the course so what all it is included 
uh, this is uh, uh, this is with live training live training and videos you paid or it's separately for that uh, for live project um uh, when i discussed with the other member in the it e learn they said uh, you need to pay extra for the live project but i wanted to pay it for the live project and the live training okay. videos okay let me do one thing uh, so you wanted the entire suit live training live uh, live project and videos as well right yeah and uh, so this 250 dollars is for one month of uh, live project so you are you are for that if you want the six months access you would have to pay another hundred dollars uh, but I want I have uh, I need to go through with all the live training videos too yeah yeah you will be you, by now you might have got the live tra live training videos yeah so yeah. For, for the live project uh, I need to pay or it is included so the the one you paid is for one month of live project so after one month you will you will no longer have the access to the server so you cannot practice after one month so if you are opting for six months then you will have to pay extra hundred dollars so uh, now i can uh, uh, the the 250 includes the live project training too right in that yes 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 starting from tomorrow yes okay uh, and uh, but I, I have not yet finished those live training videos so no worries okay no worries no worries you you parallelly start looking into the videos but from tomorrow right whenever whenever we start I mean from tomorrow we will be discussing from the basics that is uh, we will start with the schema definition so schema definition is the table definition so the tab source and target database definition so that is the basics of the database so easily you can map it to whatever videos you have seen by far so as and when the timing goes you parallelly see the videos you will understand what is going in the live project as well. okay uh, and uh, those live projects will also be available yeah, once the the videos will also be available yeah. but oh. again i am letting you know live project is more of activities done by you guys i'll be just mm -hmm. monitoring and looking at the pace and the questions or the blockers that you are having while doing your the project okay okay yeah thank you okay. yes emily you had a question uh, uh, yes, uh, Mahesh. Um, actually, uh, we were communicated like previous in previous videos regarding that uh, you you don't like we can access the server at any point of time. But now it seems like uh, there's been a change. Like you're telling us one hour, uh, just one hour for practicing, and that time would be dedicated only by you. So, uh, how does? Okay, let me. Uh, this is for the one who opted only for one month. Uh, live project. Yeah, I have opted for one month uh, live project. Yes, but this was not communicated before uh, beforehand actually. No, 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 no. We we said it right prior also. One month live project. You will be mm -hmm. having the client. We will be giving you the access. You can access. Okay. The uh, the extra thing that we are giving is on our server also. You can go and practice. Okay, but it's like just this. for one hour. You can do it. No, it's or like this. Okay. Can... Okay. I, I, I understand your question. So it's like this. Yeah. One is you install the client on your machine. Okay. We will give you the host address. You connect from your local machine. You can practice. Okay. The problem here mm -hmm. is uh, you will have to install database. You will have to, uh, what do you say, get the database connected to our server and practice at your end okay here I, I we are pretty much sure that uh, there needs a lot of support because if the connectivity is not have established you might not be able mm -hmm. to practice anything okay yeah yeah the alternate for it is you connecting to our server using team viewer or vdi uh, we will suggest mm -hmm. team viewer connect to through it and then practice on our machines because it would be always up and running mm. okay so for one mm -hmm. 
by one month one you got one hour of practicing on our service and on our servers parallel you can connect from your local machine as well okay okay local machine provider we have all the things installed installed yes okay so, so but that, this is just for one hour of practicing only we can avail from your server if we opt for one month like project yes 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 that's the add additional feature we are giving earlier it was on your machine so for that i asked you to install the power center client i gave the links right power center clients and oracle db mm -hmm. so those you will have to install on your machine okay so uh, where would i get the uh data database in that case uh, if you're gonna uh, how do I load the data into the database like so this is also your client right you will just we will give you the host address the SIDs just like uh, okay so just the connection get the connection from your servers yes right okay the only thing is you will get only read only access you will not have any read write access because it might be possible that you might might delete right some point of the time I mean, yeah, yeah. So anyway for testing we need just the read only access yeah. right so okay 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 any other questions so can we do both at the same like uh, use your server in case my uh, at my end my machine is not working can we do both so that we will give the time slot right in that time slot you will have to work out that's the only constraint okay. What time? What time slots are you guys looking at? Because uh, yes, yeah, so we, we can, are all yeah. in different yeah, yeah, time zones. Yeah, right. I understand that question also. So we can mm -hmm. uh, entire day. Uh, we will divide one hour each uh, in the weekdays based on your time slot. Okay, and mm -hmm. uh, time slot and your evening times. We will provide the uh, access because they. Your daytime anyway you'll be in office, you might not be able to access. Mm -hmm. so evening times will be providing the access. From 5 mm -hmm. p.m. till early morning. Mm -hmm. You're talking about your Indian standard time or the no, no, your, your your time, your time. Okay. Okay. But because one hour is like very, very less, uh, Mahesh, actually, uh, because this time, uh, you told you can access at any point of time, but this one hour speculation is very less, actually. Because this is one one hour, or oh, sorry, one month live project, right? You, uh, see, yeah. you, let's not confuse yourself all. If you install the Power Center client and Oracle database on your local machine, you can access it mm -hmm. at any point. You can do it at any point. The okay, only constraint, the only constraint is if something goes wrong or the connectivity is not established, we might not be immediately giving you the support because we will be in different time zones, right? And I have to do it, right? And I am also working. Mm -hmm. I might not have that leverage or the freedom to get back to you immediately. It may take take one day, or that mm -hmm. issue I might not be knowing also because not I am not an admin guy. So yeah. as an alternate for it. We are giving a one-hour practicing on the server as well. Okay. 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 Would someone, uh, uh, my question is like, would someone be guiding and in installing all these uh, things in the machine or? Yes. So I'm not. Okay. Done yes. it. Okay. I'll send out a word document which will help you in the installation. It's just uh, next, 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 next. You'll have to go to the respective URL which we already shared. In the last video okay so you just yeah, yeah. download it just click on in, in okay. next 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 it will install after that okay. when you have to give the say suppose I'll show you here. so you'll get this repository here you would just yeah I'm copy. wondering about the mappings actually how to load the mappings into the because that would not be I've installed the product I mean uh, I, I, I've experienced in installing it but yeah. the thing is like loading up the uh, mappings from your end that is what I'm concerned about. Yes, yeah, so you will have this repository section, right? Under yeah. when you click, when you are, this thing is up and running, we will, the username, password, and the domain will be provided to you. Domain is residing on our server. Okay, once you yeah. add your domain and click on connect, 
the entire mappings will be opened in your designer. Perfect. Okay. This sounds cool. Yeah. Okay. So you can practice on it. The only thing is, uh, we are assuming that you will not change anything. If no. someone changes, then entire yeah. audience will be at a loss. We will have to really yeah. look through it. Okay. So please just yeah. comment. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, Rami, you had a question? Hello? I see your hand raised. Uh, any question? Okay. Sunit, the invoice says live training library. So what's the confusion? So you don't have any confusion. You got six months of access. Okay. Yes, Rami, you had a question? Can you clarify what exactly is the free for the videos only and live project? First of all, you don't get the next free. Live videos? Live training videos? I know you might have got Rami. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, I... I just want to know what exactly is a fee for a live project for one month? See, live project, unless and until you know, uh, you you must have uh, taken the live training, it would not be that easy to keep a track. Okay. I am assuming that if you are already in, uh, aware of live, uh, what is the ETL testing, then only for live project, it is uh, $250 for six months and $100 for one month. Okay, uh, suppose I opt for live training videos only, how much is it? It's $150. $150. Yeah, but uh, the IT Learn team is still asking me to pay extra and uh, they are not giving me access and they already charged my credit card. Oh, okay, how much did they charge? I, uh, I mean, uh, I paid $150. So that was for uh, live training, I think. They must, uh, they didn't reply you back on the, on the email? No, uh, that is, they sent one, uh, they asked me to pay extra and they sent me one link to pay additional amount other than on top of $150. All I want is live training video, videos only because it is too late for me to join a live project because okay, I don't have to. Then you can ignore that email. I'll ask my team to send the videos link. That's it, okay? It's, it's live training videos, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, you will not be so part of live project, okay? Yeah, I don't have time to join right now. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll let the team know also. Okay. Yeah, I wish I was, but I, I couldn't uh, no, because I of this confusion. I understand. Confusion. We will not bother you. Okay. Yeah, sure. okay. <laughs> yes, so the installation document will be sent as part of the email uh, with the credentials, okay? All right, anything else? Hey, this is enough actually. Uh, no more Q&A sessions. I, we, we have to jump down into the uh, live project and that uh, will start from tomorrow itself. The actual session is from Friday, Thursday, but uh, we'll add a session tomorrow and we'll start the live project. All right. Just in case, if I face any issue creating the users and uh, passwords, I might start from Thursday itself, but I would want to start from Wednesday itself. All right. All right. Let's start from tomorrow, the live project. No more Q&A sessions. Thanks everyone for joining. Same time, Supriya. Same time. Yeah. Yeah, it's up and running, Sunit. Okay, thanks everyone.